got a ways to go yeah. for it, for the release of our release. Like, so yeah. Very excited. Nine weeks to oh, that is. That's it's soon. Yeah. It's sooner than we think. It'll pick up on us. Yeah. It's scary though. I think definitely now. I mean, I mean, there's more expectations, and a lot of people have this preconceived notion of how we should sound as a band. Yeah. Um, whereas White Noise, we went in and just really kind of experimented, and there was no expectation, so we could we could really do whatever we wanted. But we tried to go into this record with that same approach of just really no pressure, and just make make good songs. And Perhaps. We can't say too much, but people may be seeing you showing up soon. Okay. Um, Top secret. For now. Oh, the two are completely unrelated. I, um, I mean, the duality between like Kevin and Hal is kind of a pretty common concept. It just happens to be in the same area, in the same genre. But um, it actually came from an Emily Dickinson poem, and she the poem was from like the late 1800s and um, that just entire era is very inspiring visually as well as um, poetically for a lot of for a lot of concepts and a lot of ideas and a lot of things kind of just fell into that time period and um, things pertaining to the heaven and hell like we recorded in a cathedral for two months and we were, we were constantly sitting between those two so it was kind of like this Say there's no no two songs are the same. Yeah, it's all very dynamic. Yeah, it's all, yeah. Yeah. It's all different. Like, we don't want to give too much away for it because we want you guys to hear it and feel just as surprised. So, but that being said, no songs are too much alike, and uh, we weren't afraid to experiment a little bit. So, so expect expect anything and everything. I mean, I mean, when we recorded White Noise, we'd already had like a really good relationship with him and just clicked immediately. Um, but with this record, we've had like three years under our belts of being friends with him and, and working with him. Like when we've been off tour and stuff like that. So there's just been a, a really great established trust and communication between us. And um, yeah, it's it's better than ever. Like, there's been a, there's like a lot more just. And on top of that, for this record, we had like. A hundred times more resources in the studio than we did the last record. So yeah. it, was, it, was, it was great. Yeah, so basically everything from our, like just our relationship with him to the resources to the studio is all just bigger and better. Pretty much. So it's amazing. Really just pushes us. It just pushes us. us, yeah, just the energy that he brings into the room when he gets recorded. Like it's just amazing. Like I'm just, <laughs> I wish he was here right now. Yeah. He's very, a lot of producers will be very strict and, and like you need to do this, you need to play this way and just very kind of controlling and Blake is very, as much as he's collaborating with you, he's very hands off and, yeah. and is more just encourages what's coming from you yeah. and, and just tries to bring that to the best yeah. that he can be. He sits back and smiles and then that brings yeah. all the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing everyone. It. Yeah, I'm like, this is great. And he's grooving with you and you're like, okay, this is amazing. Yeah. yeah. He's like a Gandhi. <laughs> Gandhi's music. He's like, let it come to you. <laughs> um, how many songs didn't make the kids? So many. Thirty. <laughs> we at, at, from like thirty to forty songs. We can't. We went into the studio. Yeah. Just demos and ideas. Yeah. Okay. Not full songs. Not full. Not full songs. Usually, I'll start something on Logic that will be like an intro, verse, chorus, second verse, maybe to a bridge, and then kind of leave the rest just to be like heard fresh when we come to the studio. Because after a while, you hear demos so many times, you're like, I don't even know where to go with this, and you have to hear it kind of like reworked and stripped down or like. Okay, so all the songs we are going to hear are the only ones who have been recorded full time. Or there is be songs that are going to be on the deluxe version or something. Let's just say we tracked. Let's just say we tracked fifteen. Yeah. But let's also say we're always getting in the studio. We're always working on new stuff. So. I mean, for me, I feel like whenever we start something, as it has to like. Like has to captivate you within like the first ten seconds, or like really just hit you in the chest. And if it doesn't do that, it's like, all right, next one. You know what I mean? I feel like with with everything, whether it's from bass to like guitar leads or to pro pro programming or the synths, or 
anything, it really just, if it hits you hard within the first first few minutes, that's like the most important thing. And I think that's kind of like this weird little tale we always follow with our stuff. And I feel like listening wise, I do that a lot too. But if it doesn't like hit me in the heart immediately, I don't really care. <laughs> Um, I'm not good with lyrics, but I like coming up with like, like yeah, they're always like, pretty. Things, like yeah. this is what happened. Like when you write about that, or like this is like we go through a lot of similar things too. Yeah. So it's it's very real relatable. Right? Yeah, and you guys are always bringing like amazing musical ideas to the table and bass drums. It's really different every time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like we spent so much time. Just like on the road and like constantly on the go, it, it's really just like get jot an idea down and then come back to it later once you have more time allotted to it. Um, so it's really random every time. It's, sometimes it'll be a song lyric, sometimes it'll be a chord progression, sometimes it'll just be a drum beat and build off of that. And it's really just it's really just finding one little thing and just stemming from it and then going through it and building off of it. Yeah. It's very early to tell, but we would like to do that. We would like to. Um, we have a lot of ideas for every every video or every song so far, so we're hoping we can move forward and actually do this. Piano is probably the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. piano and you hopping on drums and. We have a lot of really like really cool ideas. ideas. Yeah, we, we for when we come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, so for this tour, this, these tours were, or these shows were kind of like underplay shows. It was just kind of like to celebrate and promote the everything being announced right now. And um, we have a lot more ideas under wraps for when we come back in the future. So this was just a little bit, a little taste of, of what we wanted to bring forward. But um, that being said, like we've played the same set for the past three years, pretty much nonstop. So. Like you're saying, like we, we, we stripped down certain songs and did different variations of things and, and try to just keep it interesting and fresh for not only us but also people coming in to watch us every time. So. I think just I think just Paris, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, try to get as much as much places as course. we can. We couldn't tell you that <laughs> because it would be giving it away. Please. Yeah, but we are we are in the works of, of talking about the production for the fall headliner, so it'll, it'll be much cooler, bigger, better. Um, really, don't look at too much. It's it's really one of those things. I feel like everybody kind of does a lot of the same stuff. So we wanted to do something like in London. We we weren't allowed to bring it to to these shows just because of the stage sizes. But in London, we had. Um, actual like street lights up, lined up on stage. 15 feet tall. Yeah, and we want, kind of wanted to just transport people to like the streets of London or, or like old streets of Europe. And um, so that's, that's kind of the vision for the next, next step. And that's all I'll really say. 10. 10.5. 10, Ten easily. 11. <laughs> These 30 Seconds of Mars are both bands we had talked about when we were first starting this band, like dream tours, like things you never think would happen. And yeah, here we are. I'm on tour both of them. <laughs> Come on. I still haven't even wrapped my brain around it. Yeah. In the same tour, which yeah. is weird too. So, day one, I think I'll, it'll hit me. And it's a long tour, like it started on May and on September? Yes. Yeah, it's really not long though it's, it's 14 it's days four, but yeah. spread out yeah. amongst those four months yeah yeah so we'll get some nice time in between yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're so used to it. Yeah, we're used to that. That, that is what wins, you know, people over. Yeah. Or sometimes, you know, some people might not like it, but yeah. I mean, that's how you, you know, gain, and that's, gain more people to like your band. Yeah, and that's like a true test for us is like if we can bring our show to anybody and like win them over, that, then that's, we're doing our job. We're doing our I would play in Ben Howard's no. band. <laughs> okay, I would, Alex and I would play in Ben Howard's band. I would Howard's play band. in a Blaze of Feather. Yeah. <laughs> I would play in Ben Howard's band. Brian's other band. <laughs> 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 um, no. I don't know. You, you, uh, I'm going to think. 
I'm gonna get a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to play drums for like it. Lady Gaga or something, <laughs> or some kind of pop act. I want to play guitar and ACDC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I would do it. <laughs> Dude, they've risen up like 20 feet shredding on or guitar. Iron Maiden. Yeah. Just for a day. Uh, Matt Scherer. Blake. <laughs> oh, that's a good Blake one. Blake Arnage, yeah. Uh, I would want him to play all the instruments at once. Chris Kerr. Yeah, yeah. Chris or Blake. I, my friend Chris would be me. <laughs> I would want Florence Walker.